one, I am a tiny bean sitting on my chair being small, and we're going to go into why do we keep using the word Caucasian? And it's interesting because I read a bit of it, and it actually goes into something about Blumenbach and um, how the term came around. And it's actually really quite interesting. It's funny that it was written on February 1st, 2017. And how it can't be more relevant than now with everything that's going on. So, um, here we go. The word Caucasian is used in the U.S. to describe white people, but it doesn't indicate anything real. It's wrong. It's the wrong term to use. My colleague and one of my longtime writer partners, Carol, Mahosafat. Uh, fuck, I can't read it. Mahosafat. No. Just gonna call her Carol the whole entire time. Because if I can't pronounce it, I can't pronounce it. So, um, let alone read it. Because that literally goes in my brain. I'm not even kidding. It literally just goes in my brain. Um, <laughs> has written a wonderful article, Getting Rid of the Word Caucasian that is still relevant today for how it challenges us to critically examine the language that we use. It's obnoxious that, it's obvious, not obnoxious, but it is obnoxious. It's obvious that language shapes how we perceive and see the world. And we know how powerful the concept of race is and how the use of words related to the notion of race has shaped what we call the U.S. racial worldview. So why do we continue using the word Caucasian? To answer that question is helpful to understand where the term came from and its impact on our society. The term Caucasian originated from a growing 18th century European science of a racial classification. German auto uh, 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 yeah. uh, anato uh, anatomist John uh, Blumenbach uh, visited the, Cauc uh, the Caucasus Mountains located between the, Capsian, um, uh, the Caspian and Black Seas, and he must have been enchanted because he labeled the people there Caucasians and proposed that they were created in God's image as an ideal form of humanity. As a label has, st and the label has stuck to this day, according to Carol, <laughs> Blumenbach went on to name four other races, each considered physically and morally degenerate forms of God's other uh, original creation. He categorized uh, Africans excluded light-skinned North uh, Africans as Ethiopians or black. He divided non-Caucasian Asians into two separate races, the Mongolian or yellow race of Japan and China and the Malayan uh, or brown race, which included Aboriginal Australians and Pacific Islanders, and he called Native Americans the red race. Blumenbach's system of racial classification was adopted in the United States by, uh, to just, justify racial discrimination, particularly slavery. Popular race uh, science uh, and evolutionary theories generally um, uh, propose that there were separate races, that differences in behavior were tied to skin color, and that there were scientific ways to measure race. One way racial differences were defined was through uh, craniometrics, crani which measured skull size to determine the intelligence of each racial group. As you can uh, imagine, this flawed application of the scientific method resulted in race uh, scientists developing a flawed system of racial classification that ranked the five races from most primitive black and brown races to more advanced, the Asian races, to the most advanced, the white or Caucasian races. Even though the five race um, topology was later disproven, Caucasian still has uh, currency in the U.S. One reason we keep using the term Caucasian uh, is in the U.S. legal system made by Blumenbach's taxonomy was early in 1790. The first naturalization law was passed, preventing foreigners who were not white from becoming citizens. But according to Carol Blumen. <laughs> Blumenbach's category of Caucasian posed a problem because his classification of white was inclu uh, ha also included North Africans, uh, Amerindians, Persians, Arabs, and North Indians. The definition of Caucasian has to be reinvented to focus the ideology uh, category of whiteness on Northern and uh, Western Europe. The term, even though its exact definition changed over time, 
was caused to shape legal policy and the nature of our society. A second reason the term has had uh, staying power is that as new immigrants began to uh, stream into the country in the 20th century, political leaders and scientists supported a new racial science called eugenics that built on 19th century uh, notions of race. Eugenicists divided Caucasians into four ranked uh, sub-races, Nordic, Alpine, Mediterranean, and Jew, or Semitic. I'm sure you will be surprised to learn that the Nordics are ranked highest uh, intellectually and morally. These rankings were used by our government to design and execute discriminatory immigration laws that preserved the uh, political dominance of Nordics who were largely Protestant Christians. Today, the word Caucasian is still used in many official government documents, and it continues to carry a kind of scientific weight. For example, it is found in social science and medical research and is used by some colleges and universities in their data collection and dist distribution of student staff and faculty statistics. In Carol's research, she sampled uh, government websites and often documents and was surprised to learn how many government offices, including the U.S. Census Bureau, uh, still use uh, use the word. So Caucasian became um, entrenched in our legal, governmental, scientific, and social lives, and although the U.S. government reluctantly denounced or at least uh, played down racial science after the atrocities of atrocities of Adolf Hitler's regime were uh, fully exposed at the end of World War II, the term has not been discarded. What we uh, what can we do to change it? We need to acknowledge that the word Caucasian is still around and that its continued use is problematic. We should uh, use the term uh, that are use terms that are more accurate, such as European American. This is very leftist. I apologize for that, but this is very leftist to me. But, but, it helps to listen. It helps to uh, to look into the opinions because this is an opinion I've never heard before. I've never seen this before in my life. And we're gonna dig. We're gonna dig pretty deep. Uh, doing so would at least be consistent with the use of uh, descriptive terms like African American, Mexican American, and other signifying both a geographical and an American ancestry. Now, I can disagree with this because why not just call yourself American if you're gonna finalize yourself as an American citizen? Just be an American. It doesn't matter what language you speak, what culture you have, what what color of your skin is, you're an American. This is America, it is a country, and if you're going to be here or be born here, you're an American. Nobody really gives a shit about your race. Like, no one really gives a shit about your skin color either. Like, no one really should. Just going to put that out there. Like, no one should actually give a flying fuck about whether your skin color is this or that or where you came from. If people are curious about your culture, then fine. Like, I'm not saying we should, like, completely ignore, like, race and culture, but our focus should be, because of the race, we should focus on that race's culture. So, like, Japanese people, right? I'm more obsessed with their culture than I am with them. I love their culture, and I love to learn more about it. That's why I know that Kansai has, uh, ha is basically known for their onsen, and Kyoto is known for its beauty. That's literally it. Like, I, it's like, you know, I love Japanese people. I praise them for how they, they treat things in life, but it's not so much about their race. It's about how they live and their culture that enraptures me. So instead of be, it being like, oh, I'm Japanese American, you're fucking American. First and foremost, you're fucking American. And anybody is allowed to come here from outside of America if they want to experience the culture for for what we have here. And I don't want to hear anybody say we don't have a culture. We do. We do. And that is our constitution. That is our that is our culture. The constitution is our culture. Sorry. I got all like <laughs> preachy. My apologies. The bottom line is that it's time for a modern and accurate terminology. I can agree with this. I can agree with this, but I can also disagree with the fact that we're calling people this American. It should just be American. Um, the use of an outdated and disproven term that falsely pur uh, uh, purports to describe a separate race of people has no place in the U.S. I can agree with that. I can absolutely agree with that. So here we go. We're going to go into this document.
This is by Carol. Let me see. Getting rid of the word Caucasian. I can really care less about feminism. It's not... It's not conducive to current time anymore. We got all the rights that we need as women. Holy sh... You expect me to read this? Like this? You know what? I'll link it and y'all can explore it for yourselves. Um... Yeah, I'll link it in the description, and uh, you, you can explore it for yourselves. I thought that was interesting. Uh, eugenics. Yeah, allow. This is eugenics.org. I doubt it's going to run. Yeah, it's not responding. Oh? Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Whoa. Dude, does anybody remember websites like this? I remember websites like this. How long has this been here? Whoa. The science of eugenics. An example of melanin heredity, chicken breeding. Did they really think that melanin extends to their feathers? I mean, it does, never mind, because that's how our hair works. There's melanin in our hair. It's what makes it the color it is. You know what, let me allow, let me, allow me to complain, uh, because I'm, I'm into BTS and people know it, uh, and there's some people that know it, but the thing that I don't like is when people actually like desaturate fan sites. Fan sites take pictures of the boys, and uh, they they will sometimes like make little products. I'll go get one. They'll make little products like photo books like this. It's a photo book of the boys, and they'll do that, and um, they'll it'll the money that goes into that people pay for the photo books for uh, that money goes into um, fan projects like um, you know little uh, gatherings and uh, supplies like food and stuff like that. Sometimes it pays for like birthday events for the boys that uh, the fans can actually participate in. And this is all within the bounds of South Korea. I don't really see a lot of um, Americans doing that. And I am a lot of the American, I guess, like BTS army jump on the internet and um, they don't like that the boys look so pale. Let me find a good picture. This is more recent. They'll see pictures like this. And they'll be like, the melanin, but they don't really pay attention to the fact that photography will always take place in the environment of which the person is in. So in this case, he's on a stage. He's on a stage and he has like a yellow light on him and you can see that that yellow light is on his white shirt. And, um, they're like, well, they're not fucking pale. I hear that argument a lot, but they'll sit there and praise the color of their skin, even though I've seen their skin tone and they aren't really orange. They're not that dark, but they do have like a tone to their skin. And um, I think that's kind of like, it, it's kind of horrid that people would actually take photo sites, pictures, a fan sites, pictures. And this is art stealing. I talked about this with uh, someone that I'm friends with, and I love her to death. Uh, they take these pictures. It's art stealing. It's a, it's a form of art stealing. It's a form of stealing someone's media. And they literally desaturate the picture to make them look darker when the fan sites make them look pale because that's how it turned out in the camera. Here. Uh, yeah, you can't really see it. But you can see that the lighting on the stage is actually really dark. And then if I can find something that's a little bit more of, like, unnatural lighting that isn't on a fucking stage. Most of these are stage photos. This is in a room for a fan meeting. A fan meet. And his skin tone is actually the skin tone that it should be. I'm not even kidding. Like, the lighting is not bad enough for it to 
So, like, people will get on them for making them super pale, but when you when you think about the pictures that they take of them on stage, they have, like, these egregiously bright lights on them, and they, they look pale because of the stage lighting. And the stage lighting is super hot, it is super bright, and it's so that people can see them, and I'm pretty sure people are unaware of that, but sometimes that stage lighting can change colors. Like, sometimes, you know, you'll have, like, red, sometimes you'll have blue, sometimes you'll have yellow, sometimes you'll have green, and that actually affects the image as a whole. Like, you can see in the background of this image that the stage lighting in the back is, like, red in this one, yellow in this one. Like, is it so hard to understand that that actually takes an effect in skin tone? Like, I might actually make a whole entire video about it because it actually goes into color lighting and it has to do with Kelvins. And the higher the Kev Kelvins, the warmer it is. Like, people don't know that. <laughs> like, they don't know that. And they don't want to listen. Like, the fans don't want to listen to that. I I've talked about it time and time again. I made a whole entire Twitter thread about it. People don't care. They don't care. They're all like, they're not pale. They're being colorist, which is racist. They're being, like, I'm not even kidding, the fan base is inherently racist towards BTS, and a lot of fan bases are like that, too. I'm not even kidding. It's not even funny. <laughs> They're inherently racist. And that's mostly due to the fact, in my opinion, or how I view it, is that they don't actually care about their real skin color. They think that they're fucking orange when the darkest members of the group are Taeyong and Namjoon. <laughs> like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> and I'm not saying they're like black, black, but they're darker in tone. They're still similar, they're all still similar in, in skin tone, but some are darker than others because of where they were born in South Korea. And that's purely based off of genetics, and people don't understand that. They don't want to hear it. I'll also link this as well so that you can explore it. I'm using Firefox, just so you know. And I don't think they're going to get rid of um, anything like that. But this seems like really fun. You can explore this yourself if you want to look into it. I'd love to go uh, into this. But I'm getting exhausted, and it's getting increasingly hot in here, and I have cleaning to do. I have to get some vomit out of a carpet. Thanks to, I don't know if it was a cat or a person, but I'm guessing it was a person, because I didn't even bother cleaning up the sink. So that was great. My life is great. So there's that, and then there's uh, this, and I will link all three of these so you can read these yourself. And explore it yourself. I, uh... With this whole entire article, I can agree. Let's stop using the term Caucasian. To me, it's racist. Um, that's my opinion. If you don't think so, that's fine. I don't care. Uh, but the thing I disagree with is being, like, European-American, you know? Like, stop. You're American. It doesn't matter what your, what your uh, genealogical, what your lineage or background or ethnic background is. You're born here, you're American, first and foremost. And I'm not saying you should take pride in that. Do whatever you want. Just uh, don't hurt people. Is the term people of color acceptable in this day and age? It is, and I hate it. It is, and I hate it. <laughs> And then I think my third video will go into cultural appropriation because somebody asked me that. I have to do some searching. This is a very interesting website, so I'm going to actually bookmark this. I love that. And, uh, yeah, I was doing pretty good. I, I was angry earlier, and I decided I'm just going to make my video and uh, fuck off. And, yeah, so. <sighs> so I had to ramble. I don't like colorism in the fan base, and they don't understand that they're being racist. It, I, I apologize for that rant, but it needed to be said because I'm very done with it. Just let the boys be boys. Enjoy them for their music. Enjoy them for who they are. Don't fucking sit here and try to control them. It's wrong. It's just wrong. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Have a nice day. I'm going to see if I can reconcile with my father because I got really upset. <laughs> Ugh.